Occasionally, people want to inhibit the certain types of files, like .coms or .exe files. So we have a dangerous file here that we want to upload, and we want to inhibit those. So we're just adding some color to this. So here I've got an example safe.com, an example safe.exe file. It doesn't matter which one of them is. We've got a formula that's listening to see if it contains a .com or an exe in, the, in, in its name. So if we selected .com, for instance, uh, and we save this, we'll save this. It looks like the file still exists here, but really what's happened is it's been deleted in the background. If I refresh the page, you'll see the document doesn't really exist. So it's a method and a way of whenever a record's created, that checkbox is listening for that event to happen. And I'll show you the formula that uh, kind of looks at this, this checkbox. This is used as an automation. So if the file attachment contains a com or an exe, and you can append to this many other things, um, it will check the checkbox. And now there's an automation. And let's go uh, exit out of settings, and we'll go into automation so that you see what that looks like. There's an automation that listens that whenever a um, we're going to go into settings and then in the bottom right we have our automations so whenever a record is created or edited and the file attachment or field that checkbox get is is valid there it is um, it goes through a triggered event which causes an action and the action is to delete so here we are at the top whenever something's added or modified in the file in the table called uploads and a specific field changes which is that checkbox that formula um, and where the delete or um, excel files equal to true we then go to the action what does the action do and the action um, uh, let's go into the actual action start the automation delete the records here it is go to the same table, find the record with the same record ID, and delete this record. So hopefully that sheds a little light on wow, how one might be able to do this. Now this has to be done not globally at the app level or at the account level. This is something that is handled on at the table that the file attachment is in and the um, actual file attachment. It's looking for that particular file attachment with those um, extensions.